I suppose I'm just going to get in the 109 right now. So I missed quite a bit of that. Alright, big flips. Ooh, that's a pretty good flop. Nice. I'll settle for that, I guess. I'll settle for that one. You're listening to the Unchunity. No race call here. In the 215, 20 bigs effective. Sand's supposed to do a lot of flatting here. Dodge four outs. Let's go. Uh, a couple kings here. And 215. Alright, 320. We're in there. We're in there. Uh, even if this guy calls, we have to call too, um, because this guy's gonna be jamming some worse pairs. Whatever, the price is just pretty good, so good luck us. Okay, best hand. Ooh, daily quads. That's the second time today we've had quads. Three. Three. Bad beat jackpot. Let's go. That's a lot of chippies in this thing. What's up everyone? Just wanted to take a quick break from the action to let you guys know that as of very recently, I'm now officially affiliated with Team BBC. Uh, I'm super excited to be endorsing a product that I 100% believe in, and I truly believe that BBC products got me from playing micro stakes over three years ago to playing the games I'm currently playing in. Uh, not only are BBC products uh, some of the highest quality content you'll find on the internet, but they're also being offered at some of the most affordable prices you'll find. Specifically, their daily seminars, when they were first released to the general public, they were being offered at $500 a month and as of very recently are now being offered at $60 a month. So I highly suggest you guys check that out and uh, all the other information I have below for BBC products in my link below. If you guys are really interested in improving your poker game and starting your journey to becoming a world-class poker player. So yeah, uh, with that being said, let's get back into the action. Oh, 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 oh. Just one, just in. Whoa! They make you feel the happiest you ever felt. Then they crawl up inside of you and poop on your heart. Like us. Fade it. Deuce diamonds. Deuce diamonds. Oh, alright. A little something. Hope so. I made some money uh, for a few months earlier this year, uh, coding for some of those NFT projects. So yeah, well, for your sake, I definitely hope that, um, you know, there's still some money in there. So this is kind of like a snap three bet here. Again, these timings tells kind of motivate me to just rip it in there. I just feel like this is something on the stronger side when they do that. Uh, now this hand is probably gonna mix. I like four bet jamming here a little bit more from these positions because they're a little bit tighter. So overall, there's just gonna be better hands in this range here. Um, this is a bit, um, I don't think I have three bet, uh, four bet folds on the stack size either. So this is basically me going from the timing tells and this overall being a pretty strong uh, range to be three betting uh, or strong positions to be three betting from so uh, I would definitely mix in some slow plays but sometimes you just got to go with the read 
made it? I'm really, really good. Let me just call here. I don't know if this hand gets that much 3-bet. It might. I'm gonna mark it anyway out of curiosity, but just gonna call. Big boy. So the deeper we get, uh, the stronger we want our range to be overall when we are check raising. Like we're not gonna have all like like check raise every single queen x here at these stack depths. So I think having a diamond. Uh, makes this a pretty good uh, candidate. This is also like the strongest queen we're gonna have because I think basically ace queen should be pure three bet. So outside of like sets and two pairs, it's the strongest hand we're gonna have. I mean, this card sucks for a number of reasons. Um, obviously, like we're gonna have five deuce here. But he's also going to have ace-4, ace-3, ace-2, ace-5, ace-6 of diamonds. So I think I looked up a spot similar to this uh, recently. I thought we just checked a lot on the ace here because it's so bad for us. But um, I'm still going to have like ace-2, ace-5, and some like ace-3s here. But yeah, for the most part, I think this ace is not great for me. And I could just like play a double like check raise here if I have some good hands, like if I have a five deuce here. I just really feel like I have the best hand. I think we only really lose to uh, Ace Deuce and Ace Five. And he's gonna have to call some worse queens here sometimes. I think I'm still relatively like uncapped here. I could definitely be going for a check raise uh, with like pocket fours, pocket threes on this turn. And also, if I bet like this, he's just going to call with an ace. So, yes, I do kind of value cut myself here sometimes, but um, he's also going to have to hero with, like, queen jacks, queen tens. Or pocket tens. Gotcha, bitch! Let's go. And definitely Jamie here for um, 15 effective. Really no other play here. With the worst hand of poker. Oh, I was going to say eights, please, but I didn't think eights would snap. Although it probably has to call off, obviously. Oh, let's just cool our people all the way to the final table here. In the spot here. Now with this guy calling, I really want to squeeze. I can have some traps here too. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do this. I mean, I'm gonna get the price to call if this guy ends up ripping. This guy should be relatively capped, I guess, other, outside of like aces and maybe some kings. Let's go. His wife's name in the show was Barbara Leahy, so. <laughs> I was feeling a four coming there. Fours. This range should be a little bit tighter when he's betting into two people instead of just one. Force with a heart though, versus like 20% C bet. I'll bet the peel one. I don't love this, but I think it's okay. Interesting here. Let's go check check on the turn. I might end up turning this hand to a bluff. Unless we get like a heart river. A fair amount of my calling range here is going to be like A3 suited, A8 suited. Um, maybe even a hand like ace five clubs can call it here, ace nine of clubs, ace ten of clubs. And then obviously like hearts. Yeah. 
And part of that range as well is going to be Queen Jack, 10 9. So I basically want to make things tough for him if he has a hand like, let's say, Jack 10, Jack 9, uh, King Queen, Queen Jack, or not Queen Jack, I guess Queen Jack probably calls, but. Yeah, we're going to do this. Uh, I think we are a little less capped than he is. He's going to have some King 10s here, possibly, but um, I like bluffing here. It's pretty low in our range here overall. Once he checks on the turn, yes, he's going to have some ace high. But even if he has a hand like ace 5 of clubs that he checks back on the turn, like he's not thrilled to be heroing here on the river. Let's go. As well, so it's a ton of tournaments all over the place. This guy opens, we jam. I actually think like King Queen suited likes calling a lot here, and King Queen off does a bit more jamming. At least according to my charts, if I remember correctly. But yep, we're all in. I marked that anyway. So 20 BB, jam BB, King Queen O versus button. He tank call, he's 10. Come on, get there. Get there, get there, get there, fuck. Fuck, 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 oh! Uh, we have to play for stacks here for sure. Uh, there's a chance we even get like uh, three bet jam with a hand like this. Now, this is kind of an interesting board here. I actually think this is a board where we get open jam. Or not open. Yeah, uh, we get uh, to end up jamming uh, in position here. Basically because there's a lot of turn cards that are drastically going to change the value of our hand here. He can also call with worse hands. He's going to have some like ace-8 suited. He might even like hero with like pocket sevens, uh, random stuff like that. Either way, this hand needs a lot of protection. Hands that wouldn't mind doing this are like, let's say, uh, maybe even like a king-queen uh, with a diamond here. Uh, you check off here for like 25 bigs. We probably just high frequency call here. This hand might like low frequency three bet fold, but I don't think I would turn a hand this good into a bluff here. And I also don't think it's strong enough to get all the chips in here with. So I'm just gonna call. I'm mark this hand anyway. To see if it does anything but call here. So call button ace check off versus MP. Also in theory, if we call here, this guy should be able to jam some like king jack suited, queen jack suited. Like some ace five, ace four suited. I mean, nobody jams enough in these spots, so I'm not necessarily going to give him credit for that, but. And an interesting flop here for sure. Blocking ace queen is nice. Having the best jack here is nice. I'm kind of curious how much queen x we check back here overall. I don't think very much. This hand also doesn't need very much protection here. And I don't necessarily want to be bloating a pot here. But I'm sure overall this hand's gonna mix betting and checking. It can definitely get called uh, by worse hands, so I think betting is fine. But it's also nice to be able to check some hands like this, so we strengthen back our check back range. And now we lose to Ace King. Um, we're still gonna have like some trap Queen Jack here. Uh, obviously, like King Ten, we're gonna have. Uh, even a hand like aces, uh, we're going to be calling here on the button a fair amount. And could definitely check back here on the flop. This is a very interesting run out. Um, luckily, he's going to have some flushes here that probably need to call as well. Like some king nine of diamonds here. If he bets, I'm just thinking like what size we want to make it here. I don't think we really get smaller than like two thirds. I mean, I don't even know if I want to raise here. Like, if we raise, is he gonna call? Like, we block. I guess like let's say an ace ten would be one of his better bluff catchers. Like ace ten with a ten of diamonds. So this might seem like super nitty, and it probably is, but I just don't see many better hands that we raise and actually get called by. Ooh, lucky there. Let's go. <laughs> and I realize that it's it's so tight. So yeah, that's kind of a weird spot um, because the main thing I'm thinking of is if we raise, do we get called by better hands? So essentially like King 10 would be a terrible bluff catcher for him because I'm repping like flushes in full houses on the river there. 
So he does block any of those, so his hand should be like a snap full. That's why a hand like Ace-10 with a diamond would be a much better hero call, blocking like full houses and uh, flushes. I think in theory we probably get some 4-bet jam here. But I think I'm just going to call and play small ball. Keep some of his worst King X and Queen X hands in. So call low jack, Queen two the first is cut off three bet. So yeah, um, I think this hand actually does some jamming. Uh, we're definitely going broke here. So if he's got die, uh, he's queen. Kings are aces. He's gonna win the money. And with all the money in there, uh, this hand needs a fair amount of protection here as well. Like, maybe if we had spades, we could slow play this, because uh, it has a little bit of extra equity, but we unblock uh, diamonds here. And there's a lot of turn cards where our value could decrease quite a bit, so I'm just going to check Jam here. He's got a better hand, he's got a better hand. Do you like tank? Call like Jacks. Jacks no diamond. He's got Jacks no diamond. He say hold it. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Um, yeah, he can't bet fold there. Um. I could potentially have, like, a sex of diamonds that he has dominated in a spot like that, so there's no way he can fold. And even when I have the hand that I have, he has decent equity. He's got eight outs, uh, ace outs, and backdoor spade outs. So, yeah, there's no way he can bet fold a hand like that. And for 20 effective, this folds to us. I'm just going to rip. Come on, do it. Lay it on right here, do it. Do it. Uh, that would have been a huge pot. 4.6 mil, we would have been second in chips there. It's all right. And just gonna call it here. Doing this to us. This actually isn't a bad board for us. We probably have more like ace deuce through ace five than this guy has. Uh, versus a bigger size, especially when he just snap bets here. I think we just check call. We could technically uh, technically even have the best hand. He could be betting like a king ten of hearts, king nine of hearts. He'd be betting uh, jack ten of spades. And we certainly have more 6-7, more deuce X. So I think we lead this card a lot. We make things tough on him if he has like pocket 8s, pocket 9s. We can even dunk lead here with some like 4-3s, 5-3s, ace 4s. Let's go. Set likes checking a lot here, especially at the stack to pot ratio. This hand does not need that much protection. We can still easily get it in uh, for two streets. It's 
cool though, there's dragons and blondes and shit. <laughs> That's what I came to love about Game of Thrones. That's good to hear. <laughs> so he's using like a bigger size here. I'm not sure if the size gets you. It might be fine. I think overall, like smaller, like third pot and less kind of gets used here. So I'm kind of thinking he might be a little bit on the stronger side. Also once, like I have to raise here. Once this guy calls, I'm basically wondering if I should fast play versus this bet. But once this guy just calls, yeah, I have to do this. I think I want to make it look like we have a little bit of folding, uh, fold equity here. Who to main? You to main? I'm trying to be. Gonna outplay everybody with our middle set. <laughs> Come on, just rip that shit in there. Hold up. What? <laughs> <laughs> How do you have ace queen? How does he have ace queen? What? <laughs> squeeze, man. It's like the easiest three bet squeeze I've ever seen in my life. How do you even have that hand? <laughs> if I had king queen in that spot, or queen jack, which I would play the same way there sometimes, and I saw you fucking had ace queen, I'd need a new monitor tomorrow, because how the fuck do you have that hand? That is so tight. I mean, of course he runs into the nuts. That sucks for him, but he should never have that hand. He should never have that hand. Oh my god, how do you have that hand? Ooh, Shorty's all in at the other table. Less than five bigs and called. We gotta watch this. King 10, ace 8. Hold that shit. King on the turn. Tea time. Be kind of sick if this guy jams now. I think that's what he was waiting on to see if the other guy would bust. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Go, FT time, let's go. And a pay jump, guaranteed 7.6K, let's go.